Hello, this is Technology Flow, and today we will be taking a look at Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac. One thing you have to get over in Word for Mac is that it does take a second to load, and that's one thing you're going to have to know in advance. Uh, but once it's up and running, it's very smooth, uh, sleek, and very fast. So once it opens up, we should get the Word document gallery. Now this has a whole bunch of things like labels, proposals, resumes, newspapers, posters, business cards, catalogs. It just has everything in one Word document gallery, which is something that Microsoft does very nicely. And it's just a very simple interface to pick what you are looking for. Now on the top of the page, we got some cool elements like home, layout, document elements, tables, charts, smart art, and review that are all put together very nicely at the top of the page. Now getting on with the interface, this is probably the easiest Microsoft Office I have ever used and the word processor is just amazing. I personally switched over from a PC and I just really enjoyed Microsoft Office. I don't think I could go away from it. And this is just perfect. I think it's even better on a Mac, a uh, better experience. And it's all just put together nicely at the top of the page. You don't really have to dig around for a whole bunch of things. It's all very conveniently placed and everything is where you want it to be. I mean, typing just couldn't become easier because everything is so nicely put together. And of course, we've got some similar features like pictures, shapes, and text box would just make word processing easier. Now we're gonna look at PowerPoint. Now PowerPoint is very similar to Word. Once you open it up, you got the PowerPoint present presentation gallery with a whole bunch of cool little presentations, uh, a whole bunch of little cool things that Microsoft put together for you. Now once you have chosen your presentation, you can choose the colors, mess around with what it says, what kind of shapes there are in there, and you can just mess around with it until it fits your liking because Microsoft is all about the user. Making a slideshow is one of the easiest things I have done. It's just very simple and you can do it in not a long, not a long amount of time and it's just very easy to use. You got some things like themes, tables, charts, smart art, transitions, animations, slideshows, and review to help you out in making the best PowerPoint ever. Now, the user interface is very similar to the ones you've seen in previous Microsoft. You still got your awesome effects, your customizable effects, and everything is still there. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Outlook. Now this is Microsoft's uh, competing competitor with Mail for the Mac and Thunderbird and a whole bunch of other things. And they definitely do a great job. The user interface is just amazing. Everything is displayed very nicely. You've got, you can categorize about what mail. Very easy to make a new email. All you gotta do is press new and then it gives you a whole bunch of things like meeting, task, and once you set it up, very easy to use. Now I personally like mail, but this is definitely a great competitor to mail and any other mailing programs. Now the next app we got in the Microsoft suite is Microsoft Excel. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's kind of like a, mapping type of thing, charts, graphs. If you need to make anything of that sort, this is the program. Now it definitely is a big step up from the last one and it's way easier to use. I just find the user interface way much better, uh, if that makes sense. But I mean, it's way more easy to edit what you need and it's just very simple to make your graph, pie chart, or whatever you need. Now this just has been a little quick review of the Microsoft Office Suite 2011. Now I really enjoy this program and I would say that you can go ahead and go pick it up. Now thanks for watching for Technology Flow. This has been Robert, your host, and I hope you guys like my video. If you want, leave any comments, questions, concerns down below. Also be sure to check out my latest video and if you enjoyed, subscribe.